Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you so much, Walter. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Lisa, for coming to uh, Computex. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Thank you. It is absolutely wonderful to be here in Taipei, uh, opening up the uh, Computex. This morning, we're going to talk about a lot of different things. We're going to talk a bit about Navi. We're going to preview Navi for you because it's an incredible product family for gaming. And then third generation AMD Ryzen CPUs. So let me tell you a little bit about Navi. First, Navi has an all new seven nanometer RDNA architecture, Radeon DNA. This is different from GCN. And I'm going to talk more about why it's different and what it does for us. Faster clock speeds, higher gaming performance, lower power. And Navi is also the world's first gaming GPU that has PCI Express Gen 4 enabled. When you look at the architectural improvements of our DNA in our first generation compared to our Vega gaming generation, what we see is 1.25x performance per clock. So the way to think about this is that's architectural efficiency. Every clock cycle, you get more performance because of those compute engines and how we've optimized the pipeline. And then when you put that together, both the architecture, the design capability, as well as the process technology, we're seeing 1.5x or higher performance per watt capability on the new Navi products as a result of our DNA. Now that you know about our new architecture, it's time to meet the Navi products. So let me introduce you to the first Navi GPU. <laughs> Seven nanometer architecture, our DNA, RX 5000. And some of you may say, this chip actually looks pretty small. <laughs> we like it small. It's small, but it has incredible performance in it. So you're going to see a lot of these Navi GPUs very, very soon. Now with that, we also want to show you Navi in action. So behind me, you'll see that Chris over there has already started the benchmark running. This is Strange Brigade. It's running on two GPUs. On your left is the RTX 2070. And on the right on the screen is our brand new Radeon RX 5700 series GPUs. You'll see that on average, the RX 5700 GPU beats our competition by roughly 10% performance in this very early edition of the game demo. So I'm super excited about that. So That's our fans right. want to know, when can they get their hands on Navi? So we will be launching everywhere in the world at retail and e-tail, available in July. And so I'm very excited for that. So that's just a little bit of a preview of what you will have in store for you for Navi and our RDNA architecture. Are you guys ready? I am so excited today to talk to you about our third generation of our AMD Ryzen. The core truly is the engine of our third gen Ryzen. And Zen 2 is an incredible core. When you take a look at some of the features, we doubled the floating point. And why is that important? Doubling the floating point in PC applications means you have faster performance in creative workloads for all of those content creators who want to do more. We also doubled the cache size because access to memory is so important. And we believed that if you reduce the memory latencies, you get much, much better performance particularly in games. And then the most important piece of Zen 2 is the IPC, or the instructions per clock. And so today, I'm happy to share with you that Zen 2 in the PC workloads actually achieves 15% IPC uplift. All right, so let's start with the very first third gen Ryzen product. It's the Ryzen 7 3700X. The 3700X is the world's first 7 nanometer desktop CPU. It has 8 cores, 16 threads, 4.4 gigahertz boost frequency, 36 megabytes of total cache, and all in an amazing 65 watts of TDP. <laughs> what we're seeing with the 3700X is significant double-digit performance in both single-threaded and multi-threaded workloads at that significantly lower power. So more performance, lower power, 
third gen capability. But with that, you probably want to see the third gen in action. What you'll see on your right is the Ryzen 7 3700X versus on the left, the Core i7 9700K. And as we turn through this realistic, ray traced scene, you may notice that the Ryzen 7 3700X is uh, quite a bit faster. In fact, it's about one third faster than the competing part. And that's really a testament to the compute performance of Zen 2 and the density that the seven nanometer Zen 2 architecture brings to a chip. So let me introduce you to the next member of the Ryzen 7 family, the Ryzen 7 3800X. The 3800X is now the eight core device for the enthusiast gamer. The boost clock goes up to 4.5 gigahertz, 36 megabytes of total cache, and you see this is now at 105 watts. And when we think about the 3800X, we really think about it as the eight core performance leader. So take a look at the improvements. Ryzen was always an incredible processor, but when you look at the gaming improvements that we've been able to get with third gen Ryzen, you can just look generationally. These are some of the most popular esports titles, things like League of Legends, Dota, PUBG, and you can see tremendous double digit performance improvement because we really believe gaming performance is critical and we designed the 3800X for gaming performance. Okay, so this time we have the Core i9-9900K on the left versus our beautiful Ryzen 7 3800X. Both of them eight cores, 16 threads. And the great thing about it is this beautiful PUBG demo that we built and recorded to reliably test the performance of this game. This is a tough game to benchmark, but we've done it. And what you'll see is that both processors are about the same. And in fact, that's ideal. I know as a gamer that I want a processor that gives so much performance to the GPU that it's out of the way. I don't even have to worry about the fact that my GPU is being bottlenecked by the processor. So the Ryzen 7 3800X, if you are looking for a chip that gives you the performance you need for those high-end GPUs, this is it. It's the best game in town. And if you add in all the other technologies, Lisa, like Gen 4 and 7 nanometer, it's the only choice. We're going to show you the 3800X with the new Navi Radeon RX 5700 series with X570 motherboard and with a tremendous amount of I.O. capability using PCI Express Gen 4. So this is actually the world's first PCI Express Gen 4 ready gaming PC and demo. So Robert, let's show our crowd. Absolutely. So we built two systems on your left, a PCI Gen 3 system, and on your right, exclusively and uniquely from AMD, a PCI Gen 4 system. And this is running the upcoming 3 d Mark PCI Express feature test, which is designed to answer the question, how much extra graphics performance can you get from PCI Gen 4 versus Gen 3? And the answer is clear, and it's large. Up to 69% more performance for graphics from having PCI Gen 4, which you Just can take a only look at get that bandwidth. from AMD. Just take a look right? at that bandwidth. So we're running about 25 frames per second on the AMD system and about 14 frames per second on the, the Intel system. And this is just a really great demonstration of what Gen 4 can do for gamers. And you think about how that might help games in the future. Fantastic. Robert, thank you so much. Thank you so much. When you look at Ryzen 3700X or 3800X, in single-threaded, we are at or better than the competition. In multi-threaded, we are significantly better than the competition. And this is the power of Zen 2, the power of our triplet architecture, and the power of bringing that all together in the ecosystem. So that's Ryzen 7. Everybody has been wondering, is AMD going to bring more than eight cores to the third gen Ryzen desktop processor family? The answer is absolutely yes. And today, I am so proud to introduce the new AMD Ryzen 9 family. <laughs> AMD Ryzen 9. Is this beautiful or what? <laughs> when I showed this at CES, many on the internet wondered, because I had one core chiplet, whether we had room for the second core chiplet. And the answer is, we absolutely have room. And this enables us to bring Ryzen 9 to the market. The Ryzen 9 3900X is the absolutely first 
mainstream desktop processor with 12 cores and 24 threads. We have 4.6 gigahertz boost, 70 megabytes of total cache, and it's all in 105 watts. This is a $1,200 processor on the left versus the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X on your right. And we're running Blender, which is trusted by many content creators to evaluate 3D rendering performance. And it's just a really great content creation tool. And what you see from every box is a processing thread. And as we come to the finish, the difference is clear. We finished in about 32 seconds versus the competitor's 38 seconds. And that's about an 18% performance improvement for AMD. And we're going core to core, 12 versus 12, which means Zen 2 is simply faster. How much does this cost? <laughs> when am I going to be able to get third gen Ryzen? The 3700X, $329. And when you move up to the 3800X, this will retail for $399. And finally, the Ryzen 9 family. So when this goes on sale, it will retail for $499. That's half the price of our competition with much, much more performance. All of these processors go on shelf on July 7th.